what are we doing tonight? Skeleton Z. All three things we do every Halloween. Try to spook the world. Oh, now we finally got to see Z's hair. There is none. He's oh, bald. Oh, my God. This is the scary podcast. Our views will kill you. The party time Halloween candy loving podcast. Brought to you by Z and actually brought to you by Doc. <laughs> yep, Doc, because he we have likes members. to spend all the fake money he keeps stealing from Mexico. Anyway, I am the man you may know. As I was the man formerly known as Z, and I am here with the the Kirby Cold the Leader, White Kirby. White the White Kirby. I am here to lead the Kirby's to greatness. All the Kirby clan cults will come together with our Kirby torches and march. Our Kirby team. <laughs> our Kirby torches. We will suck down every man, woman, and child and absorb them. Whoa, wh where did those hands come from? Whoa, don't look at me there, noob noob. My goodness. <laughs> well, we have an excellent Halloween for you tonight because we're going to do the mash. The monster mash. Not mashed potatoes. Those suck. What do you mean mashed potatoes rule? Mashed potatoes are terrible. They're high in calories. What? Oh, you're like you're looking after that girlish figure, huh? I am. Obviously, you are too. You look like you <laughs> shed some LBs. <laughs> I lost a couple LBs there somewhere. Yeah. Whoa. Well, uh, why don't you tell everybody about your excellent... Well, our excellent Halloween show tonight. I don't fuck. I because it's not live, so I don't know you what's have on no it. No idea what we're doing. No, tonight. we're doing um some spooky shit. Now, hold on, here we go. Some scurry can shit. Can you read any of that? I can kind of read that. Lion King <laughs> is in the Penn State house. Uh, uh -huh. 500k with a black guy. Uh -huh. uh, Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise's reckoning. Uh -huh. Oh, he's getting reckoned. Britney Spears. Armoire for sale. <laughs> her, I, don't, I don't. I'm blind. Her like, armoire for sale. Yeah. Uh, more people rape Joss Whedon. <laughs> uh -huh. Hold on, this is hard to read. Netflix grinds on. Oh, go back. There we go. Netflix grinds John Lobster. Uh, who's John Lobster? I don't know. Okay. Ghosts caught on video. I got that one. All right. All right. Then we're getting outrageous. With a chocolate statue of a gladiator. I, I feel like that'll melt. And uh -huh. back, back, back ends of a statue. <laughs> I don't know what that says. Uh -huh. And then we're going in a route of Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. That's not hard. That's not scary. And leave the world alone that features Bambi. That's very angry. Uh huh. And then we're reviewing the Boogeyman, which I saw probably three years ago. It came out this year. Daryl Dixon. Daryl. And the scariest thing of all is old dads. It's pretty ter are they terrible. They they're all white too. It's white. They old are dads. not. No, nope, they're not all white. Not even close. Isn't it what? It's Bill Burr and his friends. And they're neither of them are white. No. Eh, it depends on what you consider an Italiano, but well, what <laughs> well, region of Italy? So, well, that, I guess that's what the show is. I don't know because I couldn't read any of that. So, well, that uh, was you did a great job there. But for the time being, I guess we should get to the in. No, not in and out. The ha hoo hoo hoo. Oh, oh, the is keeping. Oh my god. Oh All my god. All the gosh. lack of videos we've yeah, done yeah. because there's nothing to talk about because. The, there's just so many strikes. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna put some LBs back on. Oh god. I accidentally, attacking me. I kicked your, I kicked your poor little leg. My it was, bony knees. It was very bony. Now I think I have arthritis. Oh, I, you kicked my bony knees. I absorbed it. Oh my goodness! What I can't you, can't wait to get my soda stream on later. Oh, you should talk about that. Yeah, no, the soda stream that's coming next week probably. I don't know when. Not Halloween. I know that for sure. Be too busy getting diabetes watching scurry movies. Scurry. Maybe Wednesday. Probably Wednesday, November 1st. Let's do All Saints Day with an All Saints Soda Stream. All Saints Soda Stream. Exactly. One for Jesus. Oh, look, I'm back. Oh, look at that. You're thicker and blue. I'm thicker blue. Like a fat avatar. <laughs> that, is that what I'm going for? Yes, you're fat avatar. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Just like the the Flash villain, Savitar, mm-hmm. who is just old Barry. Or no, alternate Barry? New Barry. Rapey Barry. He was very... Grapey, grapey. He, he was very grapey. Love grape He's soda, grape by the ape. way. Just like the grape bats in the background. Those are cool. They are cool. We, we went all out. We got spooked. Yes, we got very spooky. No, we got spooked. This was the spooky Halloween party. It is, without the candy, though. We can't talk to the chat. We're very sorry, guys. But yes. Uh, well, you can talk to the chat. You're probably going to be in the chat tomorrow. I may be in the chat. I will be getting incestually touched. Graped. You incestually? Graped. Yeah. Incestually. In a Bridgerton-themed ball and gala. You're going to get balled. A masquerade the- of the senses. <laughs> Weirdest thing I've ever heard of. It's going to be super tight. I'm going to get some gonna review it? fish and chips. I, we can review it, I guess. Yeah. Let's I'll live that. stream the whole thing. Please do. That would get us so many subs, probably. Probably. If you live stream your masker, masker gade ball. Yeah, just wear a GoPro on my, my fucking top on hat that nuts. I'm going to wear. Your top hat. It's not a top hat. It's just, a, well, it's kind of a top hat. Uh-huh. Yeah. I uh-huh. got a pimp cane. It's got like a little skull on it. Wow. It's super You spent money on that? I unfortunately did. Wow. Yeah, I don't even know if I could beat someone with it. It's that flimsy. (laughs) So, (laughs) believe me, I tried. Oh, okay. Yourself. Yes. Off. I did shove it in places that shouldn't be usable with a pimp cane. Yes. Well, we have, uh, if you noticed our lightsaber duel, we were dueling blades and sabers, cross and sabers. As I discussed my trip to Galaxy's Edge as a disgruntled Star Wars fan, did I get my gruntle back? Did I get my groove back? Did you get your grundle? That's for me to know and you to find out if you watch that video. You'll find out. Nobody that did, though. So. Hey, I got a couple people. Did you hear about the, the Polynesian? Had a chemical leak or whatever? I did hear about the Polynesian yeah. having a chemical leak. Dar- Glad covered. I didn't stay there. Why? Uh, you weren't there during that anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered true but i didn't stay there and that's the fanciest hotel is it yeah is that the top hotel that's the top one. Oh, i didn't know that yeah it didn't po- seem like the top hotel. that's the one with the poly- that's the one with the monorail that goes right into the park yeah but there's like five of those uh i think polynesian is the number one there's like the grand floridian maybe that's the number one polynesian's one of them though for sure for sure and it was all that and more i ate there you ate the polynesian i did it's fancy Yes, it did. Was it Polynesian food? It was. There's like this weird drink that like a juice that they have called pow or something like that. It was like orange juice and mango juice and pineapple juice or something like that all put together. Was it good? It was amazing. (laughs) I loved it. I want more pow. Are you able to just go to the Polynesian if you're not staying there? Yeah, you can go to any hotel you want. No one's going to stop you. You just can't get in the rooms. Park? The rooms, I mean, you could get, if you have a crowbar, you can get in rooms. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways. Yeah. You know, we got to stop you that way. Um, so, we, yeah, we discussed that and more. You tried to ask me many questions about Epcot and then ended up getting shut down. Yes, because you're racist. You should have just, we should have just done a video about Epcot, but. Epcot is at ho. Oh, I guess uh, the video I did not release. It could have been titled. It could have been more asso, but it was not. Then I talk about uh, Rick and Morty episode two, season seven. Super mid, bro. Super mid. Got to get some burgers and fries. I didn't realize. I see. I don't pay attention during the show that much (laughs) while I'm watching it. So when you said burgers and fries, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It was kind of hidden in the show. Oh, was it? They only refer to it like once or twice. Like you don't find out until later. You know how like in the beginning of it, you didn't really understand what was going on. I liked the beginning. The beginning was good. Not the very beginning where he like puts himself in his mind and then caps himself with a laser blast. Yeah, that was pretty great. No, once they like mix themselves up. So Jerry and and uh, Rick mix each other up. But I didn't I don't think it was clear enough that they were part of each. Like there was no clear delineation between the two. They were just like one was slightly more Rick and the other was slightly more Jerry. Yes, but they were both the same each other's. That, I don't think that was very clear. So just like them having the title of Burger and Fries they was not They tasted clear. the greatness of their own completion. They took a bite. They a did. Simple Rick's. This went Simple Rick. I don't forget what, what season that's from. Simple Rick's is a great episode. That's from the Citadel of Rick's. 
Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. That's like the that's like peak, like season three peak. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, season three. Yeah. Peak Rick and Morty. So we did that, and then I did a live stream. Yes. Scary, spooky live stream. When you had a love child with Doc and became half Mexican, according to this picture. I thought I was half vampire. I'm gonna say you're Mexican. Well, all right then. Where's the fangs? I specifically said vampire, and it gave me spoons for fingers. Did not work. And red ruby lips. So uh, what I did was I was asking for some, I wanted some recommendations for a horror movie. And what kicked all this off was a a great member of our chat, Ron Cole, the Stone Cold Killer. He wanted me to watch Winchester, which I tried very hard to watch, and I did not have the ability to pay for said movie because I had broken into this perfectly nice home that has a podcast in it Yes, because when i was living out of my meth um lab. hut <laughs> my meth hut lab uh you, i don't get reception in the on back my, of a pizza hut on my bama phone yeah so i it was it was a struggle but i did do a little bit of research about the winchester and I found that to be pretty fascinating. It's this uh, story of this like old, this old the woman. Okay, the man who invented the Winchester rifle. Do you know what that is? That's a gun. It's yes. It's like the gun that with won, bullets. Yes, that won the Wild West. It shoots. It was responsible for it like scores. more deaths it's than huge. any gun. Uh, that barrel's huge. At its time, it huge barrel. Huge. huge, huge. So anyway. Uh, the the guy who created the Winchester became like a multi 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 whatever like a quadrillionaire, and he died and left all his money to his widow, and then she started building a house, and then she didn't like really have any plans, well, so she just slammed. started. <laughs> she just started building random rooms, so this house is called like the Winchester Mystery House, and. Like you could open a door and it'll literally just open to like an eleven, like eleven f- foot drop. What? Like you just open a door and just if you walk through it, you could just fall out the house, <laughs> or you could fall into the kitchen. Like it's just random and none of the room. She's like, I think it has like sixty three fireplaces. Like it doesn't make any sense. This bitch was schizophrenic. Clearly, she was something. But Ron recommended a movie from twenty nineteen. I'm gonna say that was uh, Winchester. So that's his horror movie recommendation. Sure. He made some others in the comments, but I would, you guys gave me some great ideas. So we're going to go through some of them and we didn't want to dox everybody who was, uh, no, we are doxing them. No, you're not going to spell their handles. No, but I'll say it. Yeah, so go people ahead, say know it. how to spell. Sure. No, you don't know how to spell that well. Um, so Ash Blossom and Joy is sprung. Well, they are a great, they get they'll, they'll get one. So let's. They did say the thing is the goat. So the yes, thing is their movie. I agree. We had a conversation about. I would agree. That's like number one. Uh, what? Hold on. What's one of their other ones? What's one of their other yeah, ones? A- meet Ash- the Phoebes. Oh, meet the Feebles is the one I'm Feebles? supposed to. Be. Yeah. That is a Peter Jackson, like one of his real early ones. That's not um, brain dead. It's it's uh like a splatter horror movie so i'm supposed to watch that one for sure so i want to catch that but the thing is is i think my number one goat horror movie uh cam channel pretty basic one friday the 13th and they specified the original they do uh aiden aiden a one k gaming terrifier one and two that's a good recommendation too those are more like splatter that's with that weird creepy clown looking guy who just like butchers people he is pretty creepy I haven't seen any of them, so I, I should watch it's those. Very graphic. Aiden had a very graphic uh, discussion yes. he, online. You don't uh, have he to mention also it. no. I'm going to mention he it. He likes the deep V. He his girlfriend, his ex girlfriend had a deep V and and let him pee on her. Uh, you could have like cleaned that up a little, but you didn't. What do you mean? He peed on her. Pee is clean. Is it though? Why wouldn't it be? It's a natural bodily function. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna drink? Is that what you drink? I think it's okay to drink pee. Uh, nah, I don't, I'm not going to. No, because it's. Uh, I think it's okay to drink pee. It's being removed from your body. I don't think it's pretty sure it's there. fine. You do. Uh, you, what else? Hold on. Country. Just a country girl. Did she come in with a recommendation? No, I don't think so. Get y'all some Jesus. That's a recommendation. Yes, that was her recommendation was Jesus. What about The Shining from Cam Channel? That's a good one, too. Uh, what else John? do we got? What else do we got? Here's Johnny. 
Uh, Blood elevators. Sammy Lee was loves. Oh, from oh my god, she's Irish. That's awesome. Irish. She actually reviewed my Irish accent. That's, as she did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Spot on, mate. Oh, do they say mate over there? Sometimes. Um, I met. Oh God, Aiden's. I met an Irish girl on Tinder, and she had some really long nipples. Wow. That's wow. wow. That's nice. Oh wow. All right. Mm-hmm. I just read the end of that pun. Mm-hmm. That's. I like this guy. Um, <laughs> I like this guy. He's a real sharp guy. Harry, though. Harry came on and said, uh, what "Does it? Nope. Don't breathe. Don't breathe." Is a good one. You are a big fan. I asked him about the turkey baster, like, and I don't think he knew I what I was talking like about. I did Don't Breathe. Um, but that might be Don't Breathe 2. Uh, no, no. Turkey Baster's 1. Oh, it is 1. Turkey okay. Baster's 1. Uh, really? I didn't think it was Yeah. One. Oh, God. Hereditary. Yes. Hereditary is Jesus great. Christ. Great. Nobody needs Hereditary. Love it. Um, did you ever watch Midsommar? No. Oh. I, no. See. Uh, I think a relative of yours is in it. What the hell's her name? Pew Pew. Pew Pew. You love Pew Pew. I like her in Black Widow and that's it. Right. Uh, What other ones? Bakery working girls are the best. What? <laughs> Smelling fresh all the time. <laughs> fresh buns from the oven. Jesus. Was there any other? Like there's just a lot of like weird. There's t- a handful after that. Insult Investor came on. Yeah, he did. Did he? He was talking he about the Texas Rangers. <laughs> They're not a horror movie. They are not. Uh, Victoria Kogan. Oh, that's the one who has a dead dad. Okay. Um, the Gate, nineteen eighty-eight. Yes, we were debating whether or not the. I think the Gate is overrated, but I mean it's not bad, but it's overrated. Oh, Lip Dog, I like or Lid Dog, Goosebumps, like it. Goosebumps, but are you talking OG Goosebumps or new Goosebumps? That's true. There is new Jack Black Goosebumps. Did or you ever see new, one new. about a werewolf that was in like a bog? I think so. Interesting. I don't remember it. Quest of Fire or Quest for Fire? Don't know what that is. Uh, Victoria, my dads were gay. Or no, her dads were gay. <laughs> um, the Fly. The Fly is a good one. Yes. But the I, I like the original one with Vincent Price. I think that's it. We're, we're towards the end of it now. So I think okay. that, yeah, I think that's it. Hold on. Uh, fuck cell phones. Nope, that's not it. That's not a recommendation. Uh, <laughs> nope. I think I think we're I think that's it. Think we covered it. I think we got most of them. I probably missed some, but if you did, leave it in the chat below. We will re acknowledge re acknowledge you. But thank you for the conversation. I really appreciate it. It helped me get some good scary goodness together. And I'm gonna try to see that Winchester movie. I just gotta find out where it's free to me. Preferably watch somebody. Five Nights at Freddy's. I will. I'm gonna watch Five Nights at Freddy's, and I'll give my live reaction. Maybe that's a possibility. Could happen, preferably not during this show, <laughs> but maybe, maybe after. live stream it. Live stream during the show, yeah. No, li- no, live stream the movie with everybody. Yeah, that will you get, get pulled for that. Yes, you will. Shit. Yes. What if it's like half the screen? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what if I just like have it in a mirror in the background? And then we can do first time watching Five Nights first, at Freddy's. Yes, change our we channel. We can inform people with capes. We can inform them with capes. Yes. Uh, so I guess that moves us on to the news. To the news. Oh, oh, I wanted to yes, cover this be. because I know you love climate protection so much. Okay. Penn State has new lion glass. What? And the reason why I wanted to cover this was because you drop your cell phone all the time and break it. I did that once. Uh, is you, do you still have a shattered cell phone? No. I have no shattered cell phone. You did for a little while. There's though. no shattered cell phone. Yeah. Well, I was thinking that maybe Penn State could cover for you because they stomp them little owls. <laughs> little, little owls? Yes. Aren't you a hoot hoot? Oh yes, uh, you that's right. You went to what? I forgot what? I you went. Forgot you went there. I forgot I went to college. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like the At literal what point animal. Will you just forgot? When will you forget br- that you could breathe? When is that a thing? That's probably when I die. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just wake up dead. <laughs> just wake up dead. Obviously. Go to bed alive, and I'll wake up dead. Well, apparently they have a new product that is ten times more resistant to damage than soda lime silicate glass. It's about as half as much energy. In the manufacturing process. If only they made Jerry Sandusky 10 times more resistant to <laughs> graping boys. Young boys. They're trying real hard to correct the, the uh, what would you, sins of the past. Yeah. 
Sandusky did a number, though. Maybe what they did was they melted down those statues and turned them into something useful. Do you think they melted down that Paterno statue? What did Paterno do? You didn't hear? They, like, pulled his statue down. Why? He protected Sandusky. Oh, did he? Yeah, and, uh, that's kind of what they're saying. Oof. More like he was old and didn't know what was going on and was like, eh. <laughs> I mean, like, you, know, you know, the thing. Girl, exactly. Just like he was sniffing boys and just didn't think anything of it. Hanging Joe, out with Corn Pop. A, a, I think a dead Joe Paterno, I'd vote for him for president. I would vote for him too. Yeah. Rise from your grave, you know, Joe Paterno. The, the thing. So are you excited about this? Lion glass? Lion, it's almost unbreakable. Almost. I want not breakable. Oh, okay, so it's not acceptable. Fully break, no, so they not failed. fully break hole. Yeah. Uh, well, how much is it though? How what do you mean? It's still in experimental phase. Oh so. well, that's what. The, what's the point? Uh, they're gonna bring it out to market because it's thinner and like lighter. Like if you smash someone's head on the glass sheet, will it break? No. Oh. Potentially. Okay. Here's some uses. Maybe Elon could use it in his Cybertruck. Wow, I gotta slam Elon Musk a little, huh? Tesla gloves, roofs. I, I don't know. Solar panels. Whatever, man. They're trying too hard. They're, now they're trying too hard. Yeah. So, you know who doesn't try that hard? Britney Spears. Jay-Z. So, Jay-Z... Is an ugly motherfucker. He is, but he does have a billion dollars, I think. I th- I think he's very rich. There was a, So, there's there was a debate going out there. It was like a meme or something. Like, would you take 500K yes. or a lunch with Jay-Z? <laughs> It has plagued social media for years, and I just heard about this. If one was available, would you pick 500K? 500K. <laughs> in cash or a lunch with Jay-Z? Why would anyone pick the lunch with Jay-Z? He's one of the one of music world's most a successful. Shit. What's it going to do? Program your beats for you? Yeah, like what? He can't even do that. He just That's raps. Dr. Dre. That's not him. That is not him. Well, he's Rock Nation. What's he going to sign you as a fucking sports agent or something? He did have a good answer. So he finally weighed in on the answer. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Would you like to know more? A little bit. <laughs> you got to take the money. You take the money every single time because you get all that knowledge and music for ten ninety nine. <laughs> That's oh my god, what? Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, because you could just buy his albums. Buy his albums, you'll get the same amount of information. He's like, it's all there. He's like, I wouldn't tell you to cut a bad deal. Take the 500K. Go buy some albums and listen to the albums. It's all in there. If you piece it together, it is the blueprint, right? Doesn't he have like three albums called the blueprint? I guess so, yeah. So just listen to his blueprint. First you start hustling that crack rock. And then you marry a a rich black woman. (laughs) Who likes to give out lemonade. Yeah, and then you cheat on her multiple times. Well, that's okay. I guess. And then you name Jay-Z. your kids weird names. Oh, like Blue. Blue Z. <laughs> I do like his last name, though. Z? Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> He's got a great last name. I wonder if his actual name is Jay. Yes. Or it's like Jabrock. Because related. Jabrock Dragoggins. Jabrock yeah. Dragoggins. Uh, we go from one multimillionaire to another. How do you think Tom Cruise is feeling about that mission? Yeah, that didn't do well. Well, now there's some repercussions for that mission. Well, not it's the even strike. What do you mean? No, no, not even Haley Atwell's Jubblies could save this movie. It was a good movie. Mm, that's not what I hear. Well, it's currently on hold. Even though they already released, they already filmed it, and it won't be called Dead Reckoning anymore. It's not Dead Reckoning Part Two. Oh, really? Nope. So I feel like they're gonna have to redo it. It might be the best installment. What? I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. Like it was a decent movie. It was a pretty De- good movie. Better than Fallout. Fallout was good. I didn't reloading had, dem guns. Yeah, that that was I finally watched that like hard to beat. three months ago. It was good. It was okay. I Why like, is this chick dressed like she's from I like Mission My Impossible. Chemical Romance? That is um that's what do you call it? From uh Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Palm Palm Clement titties. Yep. And she's dressed like she's from the Black Parade. She's okay. She, she shows a little belly. Girl. I, I don't girl. I don't think she's attractive, though. She, I, be, she better than in, uh, Haley Atwell. They don't, she don't look, Haley Atwell doesn't look all that attractive in this. She looks very buttoned up. Haley Atwell's okay. 
but was she buttoned up? Ooh, you know about I believe her so. greatest assets, right? Her boobs. Uh huh. She, they did they do budget cuts on her assets? I uh, I don't remember them sticking. So out. then they probably did budget cuts. Tom Cruise couldn't stand the sight of them. Yeah, they were too scientific. Yes, you know who else is on budget cuts? Britney Spears is on a budget cut. New book is 40% off. It's Oof. already 40% off from Britney's big memoir, where she basically sounds like a uh, jealous old hag. She's like, Justin Timberlake was so, inside me. I couldn't feel it. She, she, did, did you hear some of the biggest revelations that she claims? Wasn't that one of them? That he was inside of her? She no, said no, She She lost her, her virginity at like 14. To who? Her dad? Mm-hmm. Wait, really? No, but somebody. Okay. Her cousin. Makes sense. Oh my gosh, it's thirty two ninety nine. You better sell that for forty percent off. And why does she take a picture from like when she's like nineteen years old? They're like, how about a now picture, baby? I was gonna say she's looking good in that picture. From twenty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you heard um, she got an abortion of Justin Timberlake's baby. Yes. She didn't want his baby banner. No, no, she wanted it. Justin Timberlake like, didn't, didn't want, want it. it. Yeah, that's all her saying that because yeah. she could have just had the kid. If she wanted it. Uh, that's true. She could have done that. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. I don't know. Every she's she's destroying Justin Timberlake. She really. The thing that's weird is she said like that. You know that "Cry Me a River" song. Yeah, that was definitely about her. Obviously, and about her cheating, and she's like. Yeah, I cheated on Justin, but we mo- we moved we moved forward. In oh wait, that she cheated on Justin? Yes, yeah, she did. With oh wait, was that with Fred Durst? Mm, she don't talk about. Well, I don't know. I didn't read it, so I don't know if she talks about Fred Durst. But she definitely did it with her uh, like dance choreographer. That's like that. That's like a whole sneaker cuttlefish thing where you're like. Look at me, I'm a dance coordinator. I can teach you how to dance as like a guy. Yeah. Like I'm going to do all the choreography for you and then he's going to show you the bedtime choreography. Yeah, he will. Don't trust your girls with male dance choreographers. Instructors. Don't teach and yoga instructors. Don't trust now, them ladies, either. Now ladies, if you want to sign up for Noob Noobs dance choreography classes and yoga classes and salsa classes uh-huh. i will serve you salsa while i teach you dance moves uh-huh so I'm the pelvic to... thrust uh-huh the how about the lombata or wait it was it called the is it the lombata the forbidden dance is it's that basically it? just you boning on the dance floor oh my god the lombata i'm in that uh-huh. I'm, I'm i'm in it so uh what were some other revelations don't remember she's gay no Although she does praise her ex-husband, who she just dumped. Federline or the no, other the one? The other guy. Sam Agri or whatever. Oh. Apparently, she also didn't know. I, I don't know if she was married to this guy or not, but like there's some uh, like paparazzi guy that she was dating. Yeah, he was married with the whole family. <laughs> and she was just like, I'm going to date you. Wow. Yeah, she's got some strong morals. I think she's the issue. I'm pretty sure we all knew that when she was dancing with knives. That. Yeah, it's just the same. Like, she looks so good. Well, she doesn't look super good, but she looks good there compared Christy to what she does Aguilera now. Christy Aguilera in her prime before she got dirty or Britney mm, Spears in her prime? Britney Spears. Wow. Britney wow, Spears. Wow. Talent-wise, Christina Aguilera, but Britney or Yeah, Christina Aguilera is or just pink. dirty. Uh, no. <laughs> F. Mary Kill. No. Pink is going down every day <laughs> Pink of the week. is going down. <laughs> Biggest go down. Although shit, like I don't know who you'd choose to marry, Britney Spears. I don't know if I'd Definitely marry not Britney. I don't know if I'd want to marry Christina Aguilera she either. Too dirty. She. What if she started pe- you she's would like her. She's a fucking cow you. now. What do you mean? She. First of all, she's on Ozempic she's and a she straps dump truck. it on like you've never seen. Oh my! I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. Af- I would be afraid to fall asleep. So which one are you gonna? Are you still gonna? Maybe you should marry Pink. Ah um, uh, well, Christina might take you in the middle of the night, and you're gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I gotta kill. Did you the, see the size of that? I thing? gotta kill the threat. So I'm killing Christina. <laughs> huh? I'm marry. No, am I marrying Brittany? No. You can, well, the one thing you know, if you marry Brittany, you're only gonna marry her for like two years. Yeah, and then get money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think she gives out money, does she? 
She'll that least, conservative ship is pretty tight. She'll buy me things while I'm married to her. She will buy you a What's watch. Pink got? She got shit. She got money? She don't got that much money. She's got money. She ain't got Britney money. She ain't got Britney money. It's not Britney, bitch. And it's not Britney, bitch. I don't know. It's a toss up. <laughs> it's a toss. You still didn't give a definitive. I'm definitely like, killing Christina. <laughs> no matter what happens. I am not getting that 12 incher in the butt while I'm sleeping. <laughs> She's definitely waiting that night. There's no fucking for way. You to take that 12 incher. No way. She's definitely doing it. That's spooky. That is kind of spooky. Uh, you know who else might give you? Well, I don't know if he's got a 12 incher, but it'll give you some kind of incher in the middle of the night. <laughs> Joss, especially if you're a young girl. He's a bad person. He is a bad, but Joss Whedon, the OG male feminist slug who is hiding in sheep's clothing or something. <laughs> uh, so the original writer of the Avengers, Zach Penn, uh, he wrote that like 10 years ago, came out and was like, Joss Whedon was like, I'm writing you out of this story. <laughs> Like he literally was just like came up to him and was like, yeah, I'm going to rewrite your entire script and I don't need you anymore. That poor boy. Yes. So he just said the guy was, was rude, not nice to him. I don't know why it's coming up now, but I just thought it was funny that he's also Joss Whedon's not that good of a writer. He literally inspired an entire like generation of writers. What? With his Whedonisms. That's what all the snappy banter is about. Wait, what are Whedonisms? You've never heard of this? No. That he, it's, it's, you know how influential J.J. Abrams was in With directing his fucking lens flares, flares and, and shit? in his mystery boxes. Yeah. Joss Whedon is just as influential on writing, and this is why we're seeing like the aftermath of like people were like, oh, we got to get away from Whedonisms because people don't like them anymore, and now they just have crap writing, it's just garbage because they don't know what else to do. Because he wrote Buffy, and there was always snappy banter and back and forth. Remember in Avengers um, Age of Ultron, where they're all like chatting in the room and making jokes to each other? Sure. Yucking it up. That's all Joss Whedon. That's Whedonisms. That's what that is. Just having banter. Yes. Like a normal human that, interaction. That's is not it. how most people direct movies. That's yes, but that's how people interact in life. So that's what he was, I guess, trying to... Yes, that's how superheroes interact in real life. Yeah, just quippy banter to hide their homosexual urges for each yes, other. Yes, exactly. So that's the point, is that you've got Joss Whedon uh, is a jerk. Seems so. like it. He tried to grape Gal Gadot. He did. And instead he had... Uh, what's his face? Graper. Ezra Miller. Harry Weinstein. Nope. Remember he threw, he remember from, Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Ezra Miller kept having to like fall on her and grab her, her yes. testicles. Yes. Yes. That's a thing. Go back and watch it. Think about it. It's awkward. But we're going to talk about a win for Netflix. This is a big time win. Talk about somebody who liked hugging people too much. John Lasseter was fired from Disney. He was the creative force but behind Pixar, and now Pixar is basically trash, right? Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think their last two movies were kind of weak. Weak. They were enormous bombs. Pixar is terrible. They're the ones that did the remake or the the Buzz Lightyear and just keep making Toy Story movies. Did they go, Did they do that bad? Yeah, Buzz Lightyear it was like a two hundred fifty million dollar budget. Didn't even make like a hundred and twenty five million. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear did pretty bad, but the Toy Story makes a bunch of money. And not that much. So uh, yeah, looks like uh, he's gonna be there piloting a lot of their animation stuff. So he's gonna make his own. He's got his own uh, thing called Skydance Animation, I guess. And they bought it from Apple Studios. Apple Studios doesn't know what it's doing, by the way. Apple Stu Studios Ooh. is a giant mess. They have uh, the Godzilla show without Godzilla. Yeah, that's great. And they just fired John Stewart. So did they? What's the problem with John Stewart? Guess it's John Stewart. He's too. I don't know what John Stewart. They canceled is. season three and fired him. But what is it? Was he like too political on it or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what it was? He wanted to talk about AI and China. Oh, two things Apple does not. Apple want. does not want you to talk about China. And they, at all, they want you to buy their AI. Correct. They're all good. They're all in on AI and China. As they should be. AI is uh, the way to uh, have some growth in certain markets. Is it though? Where you can stock up. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. 
Right. It's kind of spooky what you're talking about it there. It is. How about what else seeing is spooky? a ghost? See the ghost caught on video at historic New England hotel. Skeptic owners are uneasy. I feel like there's a ghost in this place. Maybe. There's at least a skeleton somewhere. Yes, until you Skeleton. threw him away. Skeleton's in your closet. And beat him. All right. I, I don't know if I can watch this. I'm going to try. Should I try to watch this? What is it? I don't oh, know. The video I never saw it. You want to see the ghost? Let's make the volume go away. And uh, there's just this moment. On, I can't I can't see it. So Looks like a nightmare. Looks like a tree. And uh, there's some lights. And um, oh, what was that? What was what? You didn't see that? I didn't see shit. Oh, look like a ghost. Ghost. What am I seeing? I don't know. Do you see the ghost? No. It's right there. That's a car. Sorry. That, that is a Confused car. Confused by a car. Motion caught on the video at the dead of night. It was a. Uh, it apparently is a ghost. What? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That is, that's a, uh, what, what the hell is that? Drunken ghost hunter adventures? Yes, that is a drunken ghost hunter adventure. These are just cars yeah. going past the house. I don't see any ghosts. Double quick time. Where's the, I don't know. Do you see a ghost? I don't no. see a ghost. You would think they would have been like, the ghost is at this time stamp or something. Yeah, why am I watching this for like 10 minutes? And there's no ghost. Stupid. See the moment on vi- there's people. Are they ghosts? Oh my god, what are those people were ghosts? That that must have been in, right? Those people that came out. Where do those people come from? Yeah, if they're not, go well no, if they're the inexplicable. If they're people or ghosts. I don't know. I don't see any proof of ghost anywhere. Not that I'm not saying ghosts aren't around, but like they didn't capture any ghosts. What you can do about that ghost? I feel like this is just an ad to sell their in. Gotta bust them. Gotta bust them ghosts. Cause busting makes me feel good. That's right, you forgot all about that. Mm, busting, busting, busting. You know what else makes you feel good? Busting. <laughs> Getting an outrage! It's, oh. time. it's that outrage time! Is, is it outrageous? This is an outrage! Oh, outrage, my daddy. What are we mad about? We're mad about chocolate. I like chocolate. Cho- oh, what the fuck Russell is that? Russell Crowe endorses a life-size chocolate gladiator statue. Is it one-to-one penis ratio? Are you not in, Are you not filled? <laughs> do you need to uh, eat more? Do you not have diabetes? Do you not have diabetes? Do you have your Ozempic pen? I will be available to eat. Why am I talking like Bane? I don't know. The latest addition to I'm Russell Crowe's Bane. long list of accolades is a six foot tall wrapped in armor and edible. He's 59. Holy crap. He won his only Oscar in Gladiator. Some people get statues made of bronze, some in marble. In Malta, they have made me out of chocolate. I will be available to eat. That is pretty weird that they made a chocolatey version of him. Is it racist though? Uh, I mean, Russell Crowe's Australian, I think, or New Zealandish. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's racist, is it? Well, because it's it's an interesting juxtap- juxtaposition between juxtaposition? him being chocolate Ju- juxtaposition, right? Juxtaposition, right? Yeah. Or ju- yeah, yeah, okay. So he's he's a a sweet sweet chocolatey color, right? One would even say he's what color? Black chocolate. Black chocolate. <laughs> what about the rock? He was not made out of out of chocolate. He was made out of wax. Oh. And some people are not happy, including the rock. Is he real black? <laughs> um That's Vin Diesel. No, <laughs> is that Vin Diesel? No, it's not. That's the rock. That's Vin Diesel. <laughs> Uh, hold on. There was a very, um, they're fixing it. I don't have, I, I have to do it in a different, we'll have to have a different, there's the the original one. Do you see it on the right hand side there? Uh, yeah. That, what's that one? What's wrong with that one? The, the, the white version of the, he's the white rock. Oh, he, he was mad because he wasn't dark enough? Yes. He's not the dark rock. He's the white rock. Wow. 
He's like, what about my skin tone? First, first person on earth that was mad about being white. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> no, I was saying white, white people suck. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying the exact Gypsies opposite. though, they're the worst. Apparently. So this was the thing where they were fighting over his, 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 uh, skin color. First of all, they're making these things out of wax, and it, you got a 50-50 shot that it even remotely looks like the human being that you're trying to make it look like, right? Typically. So they're going to update him. They're co- they're colorizing him. <laughs> Some old white ladies colorizing the rock. How do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? I want to get colored by the rock, too. The rock didn't do the work. <laughs> How, could you imagine that's your job? being a wax making person that would suck and it connects to halloween because house of wax i heard that was a shitty movie no it's not the one with where with paris Paris hilton Hilton. oh yeah it's pretty good when she was hot and not having like geriatric pregnancies for 14 kids she didn't first of all she didn't have the kid herself you know that right oh it was a surrogate yes because you know she's afraid of doctors or something she's also like 70 years old (laughs) that's hot oh god well i guess we'll get out of that and go in something else we will go in and out get in you son of a bitch bitch. all the rick and morty stuff is going to be outdated soon because no one's going to like it anymore no I, i got i got high hopes not high hopes. I got hopes. You got some hopes. I got middling hopes. Yes. <clears throat> How do you feel about them remaking Metal Gear Solid? I'm all about the remakes if it's a full blown redone game. It's in the Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, and it looks great. If you're just throwing a skin on an older game like they did The Last of Us HD or whatever, that's stupid. But when you remaster a game and redo it totally, absolutely. I'm in. I mean, I'm into eating some snakes. I don't like these games because they're fucking hard and annoying. They're so, hard. too hard. So hard. They're kind of hard, right? Yes, they are hard. But I like them. It's well, better than just walking endlessly. No. With a baby. With a baby. <laughs> with a barber. That's all that movie did. Movie? Or all those games. You were a delivery guy. What's the, what, what would you rather do? Just shoot so people the whole time? So much goddamn walking. Look at that girl. That guy's hot. So much walking. This is pre-alpha footage. Look, there's a lot of walking and wading through jungles and stuff and eating snakes. I feel like this version of uh, Solid Snake is the, is the best version. Spoiler alert. It's okay. not Solid Snake. Ocelot Snake? No, this is Big Boss. Tiny Snake. Tiny Snake. That, yours would be Minuscule Snake. That's your code name. Blue, Itty Bitty Snake. Blue Snake. Blue Snake. Yeah, the game looks good. I, I like that they're remastering it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's definitely in my top five. Was it was that no, that wasn't Peace Walker. What was it called? Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater. And what was it? Was it Snake Eater? Yeah, because it's like based in the 70s. But what's what was Or maybe the 50s? I forget. What was two? 60s? Sons of Liberty? No. Sons of Liberty. No, that was four. Mm, yeah, maybe. So then what was two? Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, but what was the subtitle? Sons of Anarchy. Mm, yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to buy Metal Gear Solid Remake, but I'll, I'll appreciate it from afar. <laughs> so you're out. Uh, I'm out on buying it. I'm in on the game. Because you won't play it. What if someone else played it for you? E, did they buying it for me too? No. Well, just play. Daddy ain't made of money here. Yeah. I bought a pimp cane. Got it for five dollars on Amazon. Uh, for five dollars and the shipping and handling. It's free. I have Amazon Prime. No, uh, okay. Well, you're paying for that, Big Daddy. Uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what about? Are you in or out on Julia Roberts? I and do. Deers no, I'm. Her? I'm in or out on the bacon breakfast. Oh, because bacon's in it. Bacon is in. And it. Mahashala Ali is. I in it. I don't care that much about him, but he's Blade. Which yeah. is going to be terrible. Marmaduke. Is, <laughs> Marmaduke Ali. He's looking great. <laughs> and Ethan Hawke is in it. He's looking for a knockout punch. Uh-huh. He's a heavy hitter. 
So we I, we watched the trailer for this, and I have no idea what it's about. Something about there's a cyber attack, and I'm going to get it's written by the Mr. Robot guy. I'm going to guess it's aliens or the deer come to life. Well, not or it's like Mr. Robot life. or it's just Mr. Robot. That would be great if it's Mr. Robot. What if it is just connected to Mr. Robot? And they're like, this is what eventually happens. Cause don't they have like the collapse of like all the credit card systems or something? Uh, yeah, they basically, they leave it in a good spot. Right. Spoilers for an old show. So, I, I mean, I guess I'll watch it. So I guess, I mean, it's two hours and 20 minutes. Come on, man. Why? Why? Better than Killer Moon or Flower Moon. Flower Moon, based on a real Sailor story. Flowers. Sailor Moon flowers. Yeah. With American Indians. Indigenous folks. Them poor indigies. Indigies. Well, I guess we're moving on to the review. Oh, is it reviews? What are we even reviewing? Did I even say if I was in or out on that? Uh, no. I might have fallen asleep. What you have to say, Boogie Man? I just wanted to revisit Boogie Man. I'm in. I you don't even remember if you watched it the no, first I time. No, I think I. It did. wasn't from 2019, was it? Maybe that's why I didn't actually review it. Shit, maybe. No, is it? I don't know. I just saw it on the thing, and I was like, I should watch this. A young, determined dancer. What? No, that's not it. This is not it. Wait, isn't it Boogie like EY? I'm your Boogie Man. Isn't it Boogie Man like I do whatever I can? I could have swore it just came out like not that long ago. It's the Boogie Man. Maybe it's Boogie with a Y? That's why, yeah. You, oh, you said that. The Boogie Man. There's a two? Shit. The 2023? 2023. Oh, yeah. I said it didn't come out that long ago. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one I saw. 66%. I mean, I recommend it. The end gets a little, uh, d- uh, like a little dumb, but there's like setups and payoffs. So it's not like who's that. in it. Who's in it to win it? Sophie, Sophie Thatcher. Yes, I did see. Yeah. Christmas. Like Cena. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Chris Messina. I remember him. He's a therapist, right? Yes, he is. Got it. And then uh, oh, Des David Malchian. Des Malchian is in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't Shit. this girl one of the street thugs from Book of Boba Fett, or am I just am I just holding? Didn't watch that here? enough. Hold on, TV. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Don't She's in the so. Yellow Jackets. Uh, so I f- shit. How does that end? I forget. Take well, you're gonna spoil it for people, but it's an old movie. It's not that old. It came out in 2023. In the beginning of 23. We're it was still like, in It was quite literally like maybe January or February. Uh, it falls short of the terrifying source material. It's based on a Stephen King short story. And it's pretty like Stephen King typical. But it was pretty cool. It was all right. I liked it. Uh, I give it better than a 66. It's like a C. It was okay. It's like a solid C+. Plus. It, was, it was just there. I thought it was kind of spooky. For a little while. What was the... How did the guy look? I forget. He had like he was like hand face guy with with like... And then he like... He did the, the super stereotypical like it thing where it's like there's a thing inside of the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the thing. How did they resolve... I Dude, I don't remember that at all. Well, clearly. I remember that I saw it, but I just don't remember what happened. I think you said the same thing where it was just like it was okay. Yeah. I did a short on it many moons ago. Daryl Dixon. Oh, Jesus. We're going to review something I did. Why, what are you, like, incapable of remembering? Yeah, man. I'm, oh. oh. It's only six episodes of Daryl Dixon in, in France. Yeah. Wee oui, wee. Oui. It's, it's I. Like, it's not terrible. Would they do justice to your favorite character? Um, I do like Daryl. Daryl's cool. I mean, it's just weird because... You know, why is it in France? And in this this show is initially supposed to be the Daryl and Carol show. And then I forget what her name. Oh, Melissa McBride. Yes, we was, did a story on that last week. Was like, and eh, now nah, I'm good. I don't want to do anything for a while. And then jokes on you, bitch. Spoiler alert. She Long got pause. paid. She shows up. Because she needs the money. Yeah, she shows up. So I was like, all right. I'm gonna do it. I'm. I was in. Last episode got me. I was like, I'll, I'll oh. watch season two. Okay. But 
Like it's Would weird. you prefer it to be the Daryl and Carol show? I don't see. I don't know how they were going to do the Daryl and Carol show. Like, was she just going to be in France with him? What? I don't understand. Like what's going on in France? Is it like I, regular people or is it like totally yeah, destroyed? Like Atlanta? Yeah, it's, it's totally destroyed. Do they still serve une baguette? No, not really. Like, it's just like pre- she, 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 he comes across like a nun convent. Like, it's weird. Why would there be a convent what? when dude, they need to repopulate dude, the ask, earth? Yeah, don't ask me that. Okay. Then there's like some little kid who's like kind of French Jesus. What? And then they it, they do introduce like supercharged zombies and mutated zombies. So oh, that's, so they're taking on the. Uh, that's kind of cool. Like, Last of I, Us. Yes. Stuff. So it was it was okay. It got better, but the the story of why he's in France is a little flimsy. Like he just shows up, gets kidnapped on a boat, and the boat explodes, and he washes he ashore. Gets Shanghai for no reason. He just washes ashore on France. Whatever. And then he could have left like in in episode one. Like he resolved it to where he could have left. And he's like, you know what? I'm out. Wow. I'm going to stay in France. I'm going to bang wow, this wow, wow. nun. Whoa. And save Jesus. Does he? I don't know. He doesn't. Oh. He doesn't. <laughs> he's very hetero so, feelings towards her. He's very what? Hetero feelings. Did no they homo make him feelings. more hetero? Oh, okay. I was, was going to say no homo. But yeah. He is. The, She's just a bro. Wasn't, a that Jesus always, bro. An, wasn't that always ambiguous, like what his uh, sexuality was? No, I always thought he was slaying the puss. No. no. I didn't think he was gay. No. Yeah, I mean, there's like a whole part in like season three where him and Carol go off on their own and there's definitely like a little late in that. Not that there's any problem with that. No homo. Yeah, but Carol's a woman. She basically looks like a bro. Yeah, but like she, an old man. she had a husband in the show, so she's Who not gay. Who was abusive, and she was practically a lesbian anyway. Eh. She was one step from becoming a lesbian eh. with Daryl. So maybe that makes him an old woman. Eh. Either just, way, I like Daryl, but I wasn't going to watch the show. It's worth it. I guess Six episodes, if you like The Walking Dead, give it a shot. Is it better than the other show? Dead City? Yeah. Uh, I like Negan and Maggie better than the Daryl. Yeah, I, I like Negan, so... Oh my god! Oh, this is interesting. This one's super interesting because the critics hate this movie and they hate Bill Burr. So, did you know Bill Burr directed movies and things? Nope. Well, apparently Netflix let him direct a movie, which was okay. It was. I laughed. It for a comedy. I laughed. I will say I laughed. I don't necessarily think it's hysterical. It's definitely not eighty nine percent. And I know a lot of the uh, Bill Burr stands out there. I'm like, Bill Burr's hilarious. Can you really take an hour and 42 minutes of Bill Burr just being a dick? <laughs> like, is that really what you want? And then it's like, oh, is he going to be a dick with a heart of gold? And he's not a dick with a heart of gold. Like, there's zero character arcs in this whatsoever. Yeah. It's basically him being angry at everybody being woke. And then, like, by the end, he's like, I guess I'm a little woke, too. Like, I don't know. It's a thing. I don't think anybody, any of the critics actually finished it because uh, the critic, the critics have it at 24% and the audience score is at 89%. Shocking, right? With old dads, Bill Burr shows signs of promise as a filmmaker. It's okay directed, but it's definitely, they had like these side characters that are kind of important to the plot that just disappear and never come back. And you're like, well, what happened to that guy? And you're just like, never going to know who knows. And his wife is the world's biggest sea, sea bomb. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's a Christmas tree. She's a Christmas tree. Uh, they're lo- uh, so he shows promises of filmmaker, but they're largely muffled by his fitfully funny screenplays, reliance on tired jokes about generational divides. Well, all right then. And then if you're a Bill Burr fan, then old dad's brand of culture clash comedy should be good and plenty of solid laughs. Like I said, I chortled a few times. None of it, the plot setup makes no sense either. It's just like, there's no real plot. There is nudity in it though, which was shocking. Is there? Yes. You have something important to reply to there? Yes. Chief. Mm-hmm. Super important. Yes. Ultra interesting. Super great. So Bill Burr is in it as the lead character. Bobby Cannavale is in it. And then Bokeem Woodbine. No, oh, he's the black guy. Yes, he is. And None of these people sound interesting. Who? Bokeem Woodbine? Yeah. They're all really good. I thought the three lead guys were really good. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, and Bobby Cannavale, who I normally don't like, I thought he was actually really funny in this. He's like real insecure about his age, and like he wants people to like him really, really bad. They go to a they go to a strip club at some point. And that's where the nudity is, and it's a little jarring because you're not used to seeing a movie where there's just like girls with their tits out. I mean, were they nice? Oh yeah. Okay. They were nice ladies. All right. They were very they're <laughs> respectable. There's like there's one really good joke. There's like a stripper who's like. Uh, Oh, congratulations! You're going to be a dad. As she's sco- she's you know this young girl topless scooping ones up off the ground. Oh my god, that was pretty hysterical. So, I mean, I recommend it. It's definitely not a B plus. It's more like a C plus B B. I don't know B. It's funny, but it's not like super funny. You can rewatch tired. Suits on Netflix better. It's better. That's not funny. Yeah, well, it's kind of funny. Is it though? No. This is a comedy. Three best friends become fathers later in life and find themselves battling preschool principals, millennial CEOs, and anything created after 1987. Okay. That's the that's the general consensus. All right. Consensus. Hard pass, dog. Abort whoa, you know you what are you woke? Very woke. Abortion well. obnoxious, vulgar comedy that, that since it can't claim any other great distinction. Might as well have been expressly written to break all time record for the use of the F word. It's not really. It's not that bad. A vulgar and unfunny comedy, but it's still it's still got a tomato. It's still fresh. You don't think, you don't think that's funny? It's a little funny. It's funnier than the movie. No, I'm just kidding. At least try to be relevant, Mr. Burr, instead of telling jokes recycled from old episodes of According to Jim. What? Wow. According to Jim reference. That's wow. That's something. Wow. That. That doesn't happen often. No. Wow. Well, there you go. That's a thing. It's a movie. It People is a movie. will forget it exists within two weeks. You are correct. Uh, it's just, it's not very, ma- it's not like an all time classic or anything like that. So I guess that wraps us up. Have a wonderful Halloween, everybody. I hope you enjoy. We Get wish. spooked. We could have been there with you, but somebody's got to go get there. Got to go to some big balls. Go lick that Laffy Taffy right in your bum. What do you mean? Halloween's Tuesday. Big it doesn't, balls. Doesn't even matter. This we Friday's not anything. We could on a Friday, but somebody had to go to some big balls. Yeah, I am. She's got big balls. Get my balls dropped. He's got big balls. I need to go home and sleep. I be- expect a live stream to come from this. Okay. So anyway, uh, we do have super chats and we do have live for memberships. Things. Memberships, come join us. We join already have Exclusive several people vying for the top memberships. Top membership of a doctorate degree. If you want to earn your doctorate, you can be a doctor. Fuck college. You, you don't yeah. need it. Twenty four ninety nine. We'll get woke. you one. Yes, don't a need month that woke degree for life though. So it, it might actually end up being more than college. No, if we live long enough. If we live, <laughs> obviously. All right, well, that's all we have for. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, come hang out with us. We'll do some more live streams. He's going to do sipping time, sipping tea time with the noobs. Perhaps I will join him with a sip. Maybe, if I allow it. I mean, whatever. You do you, bro. But in the end, we're always on to the next one. Mm-hmm.